This is about continuing rainfall is pushing area waterways higher and flood warnings are in effect for portions of some region rivers and creeks. The National Weather Service issued flood warnings for the Little Calumet River at Munster, the Kankakee River at Shelby, Thorn Creek at Thornton, Hart Ditch in Dyer, and the Davis Route 30 bridge in LaPorte County. Officials in the Lowell and Lake DeCarlia areas are watching a dam on the lake fearing it may break. As of 6.30 this morning, Lowell police dispatchers said the dam was holding steady with no serious flooding problems. Follow NWI.com throughout the day to follow National Weather Service updates on the levels of local rivers and streams. U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder visited Hammond Thursday and warned law enforcement and business leaders that the increasing frequency of Internet-based crime is one of the world's most complex challenges. Holder spoke for about 20 minutes about the importance of Internet security, listed prosecutions against alleged Internet criminals, and applauded the efforts in the Northern Indiana District to combat the emerging form of the crime. The conference was a collaboration among the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Northern District of Indiana, FBI, the FBI's field, Indianapolis Field Office, and United States Steel Corporation. Last month, the White House released its International Strategy for Cyberspace, outlining a vision for secure global information sharing. Holder's link to Hammond extends four decades because it is where he lost his first jury trial as a Justice Department lawyer in the newly minted Public Integrity Unit. He won his second trial in the city back in 1976. The International Union of Operating Engineers Local 150 members went on strike Thursday against a group of, employee, uh, against a group of employers working on building projects in the region. The employers, part of the Northwest Indiana Contractors Association, and the countryside Illinois-based union couldn't reach a deal on a new collective bargaining agreement after the previous one expired May 31st. Construction industry watchers are concerned this work stoppage could have wide-reaching impacts if it grows, similar to strikes last summer that halted many projects. Union officials said their main goal is to get wage and benefit increases to counter rapidly increasing health care costs. Officials from the contractors group say the union's most recent proposal ex exceeds recent settlements or proposals between employers and other Indiana labor groups. And finally, a perfectly manicured lawn and well-trimmed trees didn't prepare officers for the rancid conditions they found inside a Gary home during a welfare check Thursday evening. Officials from the Lake County Sheriff's Department said 13 cats and four dogs were removed Thursday from a home in the 2100 block of West 51st Place. After gaining entry to the two-story home, officers found black mold, a basement of standing water, and a horde of animals living in the home's squalid conditions. The animals were taken to the Lake County Animal Shelter and will be treated there during the investigation. Remember, you can stay updated on all the local news and information at NWI.com and consider checking us out on Facebook, Twitter, and through your iPhone. Thanks for logging on.